Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life and Nicole Marie and Gary. Today, you guys, let's make some cheese tortellini pasta dish. It's one pot and easy to make. Uh, first, I have our chopped onion, fresh garlic, my cheese tortellini. I have two here of mild Italian sausage, chicken broth, crushed tomatoes, fresh spinach, bay leaves. No shit seasoning, Italian seasoning, paprika, and a little bit of tomato paste there. Ranchers all seasoning and black pepper. First I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some olive oil into the pan. I've added my onion, my um, garlic, and I took the sausage out of the casing. And so what we're going to do is we're going to saute and brown the sausage up in our olive oil. I'm going to get this broken up here first because I want to get my seasoning on everything and get everything all melded and nice together. Now that we have that all broken up, I'm going to go ahead and use, of course, the uh, no shit seasoning. This has got no salt in it. So we'll get that layered in there real nice. Coming in with ranchers all purpose. Like so. We're gonna get that Italian seasoning in there. There's already Italian seasoning in the sausage, so we don't need a whole lot of this. Some paprika. Now you, uh, once you get this uh, browned up and everything, guys, you can go ahead and drain the um, the oils and the fats from it. I'm not gonna, ha I'm not gonna do that. Okay. To me, it, it's it's really the olive oil is good for you, and there's this is very low fat uh, Italian sausage. So, that little bit there ain't going to hurt nobody. And again, olive oil is just delicious. It's And it's wonderful health benefits. So we're going to get this cooked up here. Now that that has already uh, come together, not too much, but we're going to add just enough to, uh, for, for flavor with the tomato paste and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cook it here for a few few minutes just to let it bloom cook out the raw tomato uh, flavor in there it brings a nice accompaniment to any bolognese or any any red sauce dish or even beef stew I think it brings a nice sweet note to the table. Next we're going to add in our spinach. Now we're going to cook the spinach until it wilts down and I just put like a good generous handful. Rinse that off in there. Because this right here, I've got like, I think it's, I think it's like Probably like a half a pound of tortellini. So we're going to cook this down. And I'll be right back. Alright. Now that we cook, have that cooked down, we're going to add some of our crushed tomatoes. We're going to add some chicken broth. Now I do know that this tortellini will, will she will swell, and absorb a lot of, a lot of the juice, a lot of the sauce, and that's what I want. Um, I'm doing this off the top of my head. This isn't even any kind of recipe I found anywhere, you guys. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, I shouldn't use 
all of the so uh, of crushed tomatoes and all of the broth. I'm just thinking. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of that can. It was only like a quarter of the can left. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. Now, I call it one pot. I think we're going to add a little dash more. If it's saucy, it's saucy. You know? We're going to go ahead and we're going to let this guy kind of cook down a little bit. And I'm going to add my bay leaves. Add as many bay leaves as you want, as you like. I'm going to put four in here. I'm going to let this go for a little bit. I do have my chicken broth out in case I need it to be a little more saucy. And I call it one pot because I want to bring this up to at least a bit of a boil before I add that tortellini in there. All right, now we're going to add our tortellini in. And again, she will absorb a lot of the sauce. And now I'm going to let this go on low and just simmer for a while till that tortellini is done. Hey y'all, so here it is. It's done. We're going to go ahead and grab some of that Parmesan cheese. You put as, as much little or as you like on it. I hope you like this recipe. Again, I just thought about it because I just need to get rid of stuff that's in the freezer. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Ooh, baby, she looks delicious. And uh, we've already tasted it. So I can affirm it is delicious. Y'all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next recipe or video. Bye, y'all.